Welcome to yet another spectacular time today. Uh, Chef Jessica, can you hear me, please? Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for yet another special time, another spectacular time. It's the cook, uh, is the cook school Saturday morning special, like we always come to you regularly every Saturday morning. Thank you very much for coming on the call today. I can see live pictures coming from the studio uh, of Chef Jessica. Now, we are going to have another amazing time today. Uh, Chef Jessica is, is going to share with us some amazing Nigerian recipe. And wherever you're watching from, if you're online on Zoom or you're online on YouTube, I want to say thank you very much. Don't forget that this Cook School Saturday morning special is proudly brought to you by your one and only Salad Master. Thank you very much, Salad Master, for sponsoring this. And of course, you can also click on the subscribe button and also the notification bell. Ask all your questions and we are going to take your questions for you today. Thank you so much again for joining. I'm going to hand over now to the studio of Chef Jessica so that we can start straight away. Hi, Chef Jessica. Good morning. How are you today? Hi, good morning, Mr. Marvel. Hello. Good morning, Nigeria. Good morning, Africa. Good morning, Elzel region, and good morning, Salad Master. Good morning to our wonderful viewers. Tune on to uh, tune on with us today. Thank you all so much for joining us today, and thank you, Salad Master, for sponsoring this amazing program. Today is going to be so amazing. We are in Elzel region in VI Lagos, Nigeria, that is in Africa. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Salad Master, for sponsoring this amazing show. Today, we are going to be having an amazing time because we are going to be cooking some delicious, yummy uh, delicacy that is dish from uh, uh, eastern part of Nigeria. This morning, we are going to be cooking African breadfruits that is locally called Okwa in Igbo language, African breadfruit. And the next, uh, the second meal is Agibi Jelov. Thank you all so very much. Uh, well, today our nutritionist, that is Mr. Tunde, is unavailable this morning. But trust, we are going to have an amazing time. Thank you all so very much once again. Now, before I start, I have to wash my hands with soap and water. I'll introduce the recipes for the two uh, main dishes, that is African breadfruit, okwa, and then agibi jerof. Introduce the Salamasa Hadi cooking system, and then we get started. Thank you all so very much. Okay, now I have to wash my hands with soap and water. Remember what they say, when you want to start cooking, you have to wash your hands thoroughly with clean water and with uh, soap and clean water. Wow. I'm so excited already. Okay, I'm done washing my hands with soap and water. Okay, like I said, our menu for this morning is 
okwa, that is breadfruit, called breadfruit in English, breadfruit, African breadfruit, and then agidi jollof. We are all used to like um, the Western part of Nigeria, that is the Yorubas. They are all used to the white agidi. But this morning, I'm going to be making the agidi jollof. Okay, now these are the recipes. First thing I'm going to be making is the, uh, that is the agidi jollof. That is the first thing I'm going to be making this morning. So I'm going to introduce the recipes for agidi jollof. The agidi jollof, I'll be using dry corn. Dry corn, that is for agidi jollof. Then we'll be using some fresh tomatoes, red squash bonnet, red bell pepper, and then onion onions all blended and boiled, boiled very dry. And then we'll be using some chewable biscuit bones. That is for the agidi jollof. I'll be using some purple onions, curry, and then sea salt. That is all the recipes for agidi jollof. Then the agidi jollof, I'll be wrapping this in this gold leaf. This is a moi moi leaf. I'll be wrapping the agidi jollof with this leaf, this fresh uh, broad leaf. So this, and, and also be using the stock from the biscuit bones to make the agidi jollof. So now the recipes for the uh, okwa, that is the African breadfruit. It doesn't really have uh, much recipes because it has its own natural sweetness and flavors. So this is the, the breadfruit, raw breadfruit. This is the breadfruit I'll be using this morning for the African breadfruit. Then I'll be using some habanero pepper, habanero pepper some sweet corn, some sweet fresh corn for the African breadfruit, and edible potash, and sea salt to taste. And I'll be garnishing the African breadfruit with some smoked croaker fish, or rather it was grilled, I grilled it, grilled uh, croaker fish. So these are all the recipes for the African breadfruit and the agudi jollof. Now quickly, let me wash my hands again first. And then we get, I get started cooking immediately. So for the Agidi Jello, first thing you have to get your raw corn, your dry raw corn, you get your dry raw corn and then you wash. You wash it very well. You wash it thoroughly. Then you see that most of the shaft that is not needed. Okay, now I'm done with dry corn. That is for the agudi jollof. It's also the same process with the white agudi. That is the echo called echo in the cooking system called the one quart. This is one quart. I'll be using this one quart to boil the dry corn. This agriculture of is a long process, so we are gonna get there very soon. Then you add some water. I'll be adding some water, getting the water from our wonderful salad master, Ketsu. See how amazing this looks. Thank you. 
So we are going to allow this to boil for five minutes, three to five minutes, and then we can now blend. Okay, so while that is uh, boiling, Okay, so while that is boiling, I have to quickly, I'm going to use a blender to blend it, but for you to blend this dry corn, you have to get a very strong blender, very strong blender to blend it. I'm using a very strong blender. Okay, so let me quickly do a quick recap on the Agudi Jerof. The, the Agudi Jerof recipes, I'll be using some tomatoes. I'm not using any process, anything. Want some fresh, uh, fresh tomatoes, red scotch bonnet, red bell pepper, and then some onions. You have to have a chewable biscuit bones, chewable biscuit bones, or uh, goat milk uh, biscuit bones uh, stock, and then. I'll be using onions and curry and then sea salt. These are the recipes for the agidi jellof. And I'll be wrapping the agidi jellof with eggs. With this, uh, in the eastern part of Nigeria, mostly eating. So the difference is just these two that you add to it to turn it to jellof. But in the West, it's mostly eating. The white one is and uh, Mr. Marvel. Hello, how are you doing? Hope you are here now, Dante. So please, uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube. It's called The Healthy Living Shows. You can subscribe to our YouTube. Please like, comment, and press the notification bell so that you get our upcoming videos once it's uploaded. Thank you all so very much. And we are watching us live from Victoria office in Nigeria. Thank you all so very much. So while we are waiting for the yeah, it's almost coming up. So we are going to blend the the corn so you have to use a dry corn very dry corn you just boil it for two to three minutes two to three minutes on like the pap pap where you're making your pap you just have to soak it like for two to three days but you are making a call you have to boil it for two to three minutes and then you blend it you filter it and then you turn it just like the same way you turn your semo then your agidi, uh, white agidi will be ready in no time. Coming up gradually. So like I said, ukwa, that is breadfruit, is mostly eaten by the Eastern part of Nigeria. It's a very special dish. You can serve that uh, during a funeral, a wedding, a traditional marriage, or very important or any important event. It's a very, very delicious dish and also very yummy and healthy. It's a very healthy meal. It doesn't really, it doesn't really uh, need a more spicy because it's a natural food by itself. It has its own natural taste and its own natural sweetness. So when you add other recipes, it kind of take away all these natural flavors out okay so now it's ready to blend the corn the corn is it's ready so the corn is ready take out the water out the water you boiled it with take it out Then you add to your blender. 
like I said, you have to use a very strong blender. Imagine blending a dry corn in a blender. So please, you have to use a very strong blender to achieve this. And you have to blend it in a good space. Okay. So you add some water for easy blending. And I have to blend. So the corn is blended just like this. So it has to be smooth this way. It's blended and then you use, you can see some of the shaft down there. So you can use the, your sieve to sieve it just like the same way you sieve your pap. Okay, so I'm going to show you the one that I've already sieved out already because we don't have that much time to be doing that online. Okay, now this is the sieve, the one that is already blended. This is the agidi jello that is already blended, the dry corn. It's already so I'm going to drain out. You have to after blending it, you leave it for 30 to maybe 30 to one hour for it to set to. You leave it to 30 to one hour for it to set to. Then you take out most of the water, the excess water that I don't need. So I'm going to take out some water. Just like the same way you drain out some water from your pap. Or a camu, locally called a camu. Okay, now you see that. So you get your spatula to steer it with, because you are going to steer it just like the same way we steer semu or amala. So you see, you see some sets, you can see the thickness. You can see this, so you give it a good steer. You give it a, a, a good steer, making sure that all the lumps, everything is dissolved before you. So once you turn fire, you have to continue steering. You have to continue steering and make sure that you put it on a low heat. Hello, Mr. Marvel. So I'm using 10 quarts. This is Salah Master Healthy Cooking System called the 10 quarts. This 10 quarts could feed up to 20 to 15 to 20 people, depending on what you are cooking and depending on the quantity, made with titanium 
So I'm using 10 quarts made with titanium that is made with 316 Ti, keeps nutrients in your food and makes it, which makes your food your medicine. So we are making Afri, that we are making a agibi jellof. It's already forming. So while that is waiting, I have to quickly make this stew. I have to quickly make this stew. So with this stew, I'll be using the electric skillet for the stew. So I'll be using the electric skillet. So I'll be using the electric skillet. That is a lot of I had the cooking. So electric skillet here to use this to make your pizza your stew, your sauces, your beans, your soup, your shawarma, your pancakes, even is uh, all in one. Use this to grill, to fry, to roast, to bake, and also to cook. So I'll be using this electric skillet to make this tuna and I'll be using, I'll be heating it all with uh, 130. I'll be cooking with 130. So while I'll be making this too, I'll also be stirring the agibi jello. So I'm going to preheat the electric skillet. Once I finish preheating, then I'll fry in my onions in there. So while that is preheated, I have to use the Salad Master food processor. The Salad Master food processor. Once again, always remember to wash your hands because you might have touched one thing or the other. So avoid your food being contaminated with any bacteria. Always ensure you wash your hands. So I'll be grating this purple onions with our wonderful Salad Master food processor. Trust me, no kitchen is complete without this. No kitchen is complete without this Salad Master machine. No kitchen is complete without the salad master machine. And it comes with five different cones from cone number one, cone number two, cone number three, cone number four, and then cone number five. It's master of fruits and it's master of salad. It's for fruits and uh, vegetables. And you can see it's manual. So I'll be using cone number 10 slice, which is the single. So I'll be using these onions to make this stew for the agibi jellof, for the agibi jellof. Just a little onion because you don't want the agibi jello to be having some lumps, some visible things there. The only visible that's supposed to be there is the biscuit bones. So you can see 
how easy and convenient it is to use the Salad Master food processor. See this? Did you see that? Using code number two. So, so if you want to make salad for an event for over 500 to 200, 200 to 500 people, trust me, within 30 minutes, you are done cutting because it's master of fruits and vegetables, very easy, very convenient. When one person is cutting, it's as if 10 people cutting at the same time. Okay, now I have to stir fry the So remember to always tear the to stir the agidi. Keep on stirring until it begins to set. Okay, so I've given it a good stir. Why that is waiting? I have to. to fry the onions in here. So the onions, you don't have to heat the electric skillet for long because onions is a vegetable. So you just toast it in and give it a little stay, just stay fried for some minutes. So now I want to make the stew for the agidi jello. Remember always from, remember to steer the, you keep on steering. Okay. Okay, now the onion is ready. Now I can put in the stock, the stock from the goat's meat. So this is the stock from the biscuit bones. I seasoned this with habanero pepper, because I want the goat meat bones, the biscuit bones. I want the pepper to infuse in the bones. That's why I use habanero pepper to cook it with it. I use habanero pepper, sea salt, some curry, turmeric, ginger, and garlic, and some sea salt. So because of the habanero pepper, I'm not going to pour in directly because I don't want to choke on pepper. So I'm going to add a little water from the Salad master ketchup. Now, did you hear that? Okay, now I can pour in the stock, the biscuit bone stock. Now I'll be adding the blended tomatoes, fresh tomatoes. I don't use thin tomatoes, I use fresh tomatoes, fresh red bell pepper. That is the tatashe, red bell pepper, that is the tatashe 
red chili, that is shongo, and red scotch bonnet, that is atarodo with plenty of onions. Then I boiled it first before blending. You boil it very well. You have to boil it very well before blending. And when you blend, make sure that all the seeds is well blended because you are making agidi jello. Agidi jello is supposed not to have any particles, any particles like from your maybe pepper seed, bones, small, small bones. And apart from the biscuit bones, they already cut in chunks. So while I'm cooking the stew, the agidi stew, I'll also be stirring the agidi so that it will all set at the same time. It's settling on well. It's coming up gradually. So you have to keep on stirring to avoid lumps from the beginning. Okay. So I have to add the another pepper. You can see it's like a me to feel because I boiled it first before blending. So I'm making a judicial love, a Nigerian delicacy. Mostly eaten by all Nigerians. You could make your wife agidi, eat it with pepper soup, with stew, with a banga stew that is opaku, or with some salt. But I'm not making a wife agidi this morning. I'm making agidi jello. That's why I'm making this stew. So I'm going to be using this stew. I mix it inside the white agit, then it turns to agit jello. So the next one I'm going to be adding is the sea salt and the curry. So I'll be using sea salt, and I'll be using half a tablespoon. And also the curry. Be adding some curry. Then I'll add some little water, some water from the electric, I mean from the salad man's basket too. So the next one I'm going to add is the biscuit bones, chewable biscuit bones already boiled. I already boiled eggs. This is the biscuit bones and some meat in there. Not only the, the biscuit bones and some meat in there. This already cooked already. I season it with habanero pepper, sea salt, curry, thyme, ginger, and garlic, onions, and sea salt, and water. Okay, when you're boiling your meat, your chicken or your fish don't add any water to cook it with its own natural moisture. Okay, so I have to cover the stew and allow it to steam up for five minutes while I continue stirring the agidi until it's set. So I'm making the agudi jollof inside the 10 quarts, made with uh, 3160i, keeps nutrients in your food, which makes your food your medicine. Remember we are cooking to retain up to 93% when you are cooking with salad master healthy cooking system.
So when you are making the agibi jellof with the stew, you don't have to put much stew so that you don't end up having akamu jellof. All right. <laughs> Okay, so while I'm waiting for the agidi jollof to set, I have to quickly reintroduce the uh, the breadfruit, the African breadfruit, that is okwa. I have to quickly put it on fire now because it takes a while to cook. Okay, now let's check the stew. Let's check the agidi jollof stew. Oh, wow, look at that. Mm, and this smells yummy. This smells yummy. So when you are making your agdi jellos, you don't have to put so much spice. You don't need so much spice like your parsley, your spring onions, your green pepper. You don't need all that. All you just need is your curry, your thyme, your sea salt. I remember I'm not using any oil. I'm not using or any artificial. Cook this oil that I'm cooking this morning is all natural. So when I'm cooking, I'm making this food inside the electric field called the good boy. This is good boy with it. It's a healthy on the go. So when you are traveling, you are traveling from here to US, from Nigeria to US, from Nigeria to UK, from Nigeria to Ghana, to put this electric pillar in your travel kit. And when it's strictly electric, you see, it's not for gas stuff. And then make your two and everything. Okay. So now I have to quickly give the agbijer of a quick stir again. It's like I said from the beginning, it takes a while, but you have to be patient. You have to be really, really patient. Remember, we are cooking. When you are cooking with Salah Master Healthy Cooking System, did you see that? Did you hear that? That is the vapor verb telling me that and I'm cooking above. It's six degrees, so I have to turn it low. Remember, we cook from medium, click low. So now that it clicks, I have to turn it low. The nurses have done an amazing job. Oh. Okay. So you can see the agri jerof is getting thickened. I don't need to add salt. No, you don't add salt. You just plain dry corn. Boil it first, like you get your dry corn, wash it. Boil it for three to five minutes. Put in a blender. Make sure that you have a, use a very strong blender. Add some water, enough water, and then you blend it very smooth. Then you use this uh, material, this shibon they use for doing pap. So do just like the same way you do your pap or ogi, locally called ogi. You leave it for one hour, 30 minutes to one hour to set. So you drain out some water out of it, and then you put on the fire and keep on stirring until it sets. Remember to put it on a low heat. So when you keep on stirring, is to avoid lumps. So you can see it's getting thickened already. It's getting very, very thick already. So let's check this two. This two should be ready by now.
oh wow, it's ready. So you have to make your agibija love stew thick. You have to make it thick because you've been mixing it with the echo, that is the agibi, the white agibi that I'll be making now, which I'll be turning to, I'll be turning into agibi jello with this too. So you have to make it very thick. Like I said, you don't put much to inside the agibi jello so that you don't end up having jello akamu, that is jello fat. This is a very delicious meal, mostly sold in India, uh, mostly eaten by the Eastern part of Nigeria. When I was in secondary school, eh, my, my pocket money finished, like did not finish my pocket money because I'll always buy it after school. Right. It's a very delicious meal, very easy to make, but you just have to take your time and do it. Okay, you can see the agibi jerof is, is being on well, it's coming on well. You have to keep on giving it a ghost here. See, it's getting thickened. It's coming on very well. So while that is, is uh, cooking, let me quickly, Put the bread, African breadfruit on fire. Like I said, African breadfruit is a very wonderful meal, very wonderful dish. Mostly eaten by the is eaten by the Nigerian, especially from the eastern part of Nigeria. When you're having a special event like wedding, traditional marriage, if you've not served this okwa, then you've not yet started. The dish is not complete, the menu is not complete. You must add okwa, that is African breadfruit, in your menu. So, be using our good girl. That is a lot master healthy cooking system called the MP5. So I'll be using the MP5 to cook the African breadfruit. So this is it, the MP5. We call this the good girl because it's all you want. You can grill, this can bake, this can cook, this can fry, this can also roast. And you can use it to cook your stew, your sauces, your rice, your beans, your soup, depending on what you are making. And it could fit up to five to 10 people. Yes. This is a large master 31 CPI titanium cooking the nutrients that makes your food your medicine. Okay. So when you cook with salad master, you ensure you are having you are retaining all to nutrients or sense from your diet. So I'll be setting this at 150. 150. 150. To cook the African breadfruit. African breadfruit takes time. It takes a longer time, just like beans. It takes time to cook. That's why we mostly cook it with the uh, potash to get soft quickly. Okay, so I have to quickly be stirring the agbiji loaf. It's coming up nicely, just the way I would like it. See that? The agibi jollof is coming on well. Okay. That is the okwa, the raw one. 
got this from the market, the real one. And you can't get this in any hard market. It's not every market, that, especially in Lagos here, that this particular market you have to get it from. So because it takes a while, it takes a longer time, like four to three to four hours to get soft, to get cooked, is I've already boiled some because I'm cooking this life. I don't want to spend so much time just cooking breadfruit, African breadfruit. So this is the cooked one. This is cooked already, not properly cooked. It's still a little bit hard. So I'm going to be adding this, cooking this with the MP5. That is the good girl. Okay, that is African bread food that is locally called okwa in Igbo language, mostly eaten by the eastern part of Nigeria by the Igbo. And I'm going to be cooking that with the sweet corn habanero pepper, and then I garnish it with the grilled croaker fish. Okay, while that is cooking, now let's get back to the agidije love. Wow. Wow. It's almost ready. It's almost ready. You have to keep it a good stir. You stir and stir and stir and stir. You can also wrap it with a banana leaf or plantain leaf. But I was not able to find that in the market. So that's why I'm using the moi moi leaf, fresh moi moi leaf to wrap it with. And please also remember we have shows every Monday day by 6.30 p.m. in the evening. That is Cook Along, where I send out the recipes during the week and you get them from the market and then you cook along with me, send out the recipes and the menu. Where we cook from the raw material to the finished products. Now this is the agibi jellof. I mean the agibi jellof, this is ready. So I have to taste if this is ready. To know if it's ready, you have to get some cold water When you get some cold water, take some agidi and just cook it in. This is ready. It's ready. See that? It's ready. This is ready. Now I have to turn off the, uh, I have to reduce the heat and then I'll add the, I'll add the stew. Now let's turn this agidi, white agidi to agidi jellof. Wow. 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 So like I said, don't add too much stew. Don't add much stew. Don't add much stew. So that you not end up having jellof pack. That is jellof account. The most important thing is for it to set. Then you give it a good stir again. So no need adding uh, uh, salt inside the agidi. That is the white one because you already add salt inside this too. So it's not necessary. Okay. I still need some color. So I'm still going to add some more. So 
like I said, the aggregate is a lot still. You don't put much spice, just your curry and your thyme, your sea salt, biscuit bones, red bell pepper, red scotch bonnet, bell pepper, and fresh tomatoes, and some onions. And you're good to go. Okay, I still need a little more stew. Remember when you're adding this, you have to leave the IGD still on fire with the heat still on. And do a little boost here again. Wow. So once you finish meeting it this way, you just have to turn off the heat. You cannot turn off the heat. You turn off the heat. Now it's time to wrap. I said this takes a while, you just have to be patient, really, really patient while preparing this dish. Okay. Now, this is the leaf you wrap it with. You wrap it with the moi moi leaf or banana leaf or plantain leaf, depending on the one you prefer. But I was not able to get the banana and the plantain leaf in the market. So that's why I'm using this leaf, which is also very fine. So once you get it, you have to remove this bakes. Just cut it this way, and then you take off the skin off from it. So I'll be wrapping this now. You fold and then you push it back. And you scope some agibi jello in just half. And you take the biscuit bone. And you take one of the biscuit bone and add. and a little stew, and then you add another and you did a lot there. And then you seal it. See that? You seal it, the only thing that I have to just leave it to set, and when it's cold, you can now unwrap it, and it will be ready. So this is a you did it's very simple, very easy, but the only thing that I have to be really, really patient, you have to take your time. Take some biscuit bone. For those that have spent here, don't put biscuit bones for them. Just add only the stew. <laughs> So when you get to the market and you buy your agibi jellof and you didn't see any biscuit bone, please return it to where you bought it from. And tell the woman, why don't you add the biscuit bone? Because the biscuit bone is the real deal inside. Okay. Remember, you add a little, that's half of the agibi jellof inside the wrap paper and add one of the biscuit bones with some little stew and then you add the agibi jello to seal it up. 
so that when you unwrap it, when it's finally cool and then you unwrap it, the biscuit bone settles in the middle. Just like this. Mm -hmm. Just like this, and then you wrap it, you seal it. This way. So I have to check the, let's check the breadfruit. Oh, wow. Wow. The breadfruit is doing all well. Cooking all well. Okay. So you have to continue cooking for about five more minutes. So while that is cooking, let me continue with the wrapping of agibi jello. So please try this at home. Try this agibi jello at home. Like I said, it's very easy to prepare. Or you are a call that is a white agibi. The only difference is just not having the stew, the prepared stew. And thank you, Salad Master, for sponsoring this program, for enabling us to eat healthy, wonderful meals. By using our Salad Master healthy cooking system, that is uh, Salad Master 316 CI. So let me quickly do a recap on the recipes again for this agibi jello. For the recipes, I use dry corn, fresh red bell pepper, fresh tomatoes, red scotch bonnet. What I mean by red scotch bonnet is the ataro dough, onions, Chewable biscuit bones. So for the stew, I use fresh tomatoes, red bell pepper, red scotch bonnet, and habanero pepper. Yeah, I added some habanero pepper there too. And for the stew, you don't need more spice, more spice like your green pepper. oregano, parsley, celery, or the rest of them. No, it only just need curry and thyme, sea salt, fresh tomatoes, and some peppers, and then you are ready to go. You are good to go for the agibi jello. So the most important thing is for you to set. And when you are making the agibi jello, please don't add much stew so that you don't end up having Jello pap instead of jello agibi. So you scrub some biscuit bones, some stew, and then use the agibi jello to seal the seal it up. Okay. Now let me check the. Now let's check the. What do you call it again? They offer the African breadfruit. The African breadfruit. It's time for me to add the other five other recipes for the African breadfruit. The African breadfruit. I'll be using sweet corn, habanero pepper, and some sea salt. Like I said, you don't need more spice because African breadfruit. That is okwa. It has its own natural sweetness and flavor. Own natural sweetness and aroma and flavor. So you don't need all that. Now let's see. Let's see. It's properly cooked. Oh wow, it's ready. The African breadfruit is ready. She is all soft. It's ready. 
Hmm, I love the aroma. So the first thing I'm going to add, I'm going to add the corn. I'm going to add the fresh corn, which is already cooked already. I'm going to add the fresh corn. I don't like adding much fresh corn in the okra. Just little, not that much. So I'll be adding some fresh corn. And also sea salt to taste. I'm using, using half a teaspoon, just like a more of a pinch. Like I said, it has its own natural sweetness. So I have to cover this to steamer for about three to two to three minutes again. So while that is cooking, I have to blend this habanero pepper. Then I'll add it to the okra, to the bread food. And some different blenders here. So the habanero pepper is already prepped already. What I mean by prep is already washed. So I'm going to be blending that. Then I'll take some water again from the kettle. Add some water for easy blending. Okay, so I'm done blending. So now add the, habner, the blended habanero pepper inside the breadfruit, that is the African breadfruit. So you can also use bitter leaf or crayfish Oh, this habanero pepper is so spicy. Oh, it's so spicy. Okay. So I have to allow this to simmer again for two minutes and we are done cooking and I'm done cooking. Now let me still continue with my agidi wrapping, agidi jerof wrapping. My agidi jerof wrapping, let me still continue. Agidi jerof, this is a very wonderful meal. Very, very wonderful meal. Please try this at home. Try this at home, try it at home. It's very easy, very simple, and trust me, very yummy, and also very healthy. And it's also very good for babies, you know? Instead of making noodles for your children all the time, so try this. So thank you all. You are watching us live from our VI office, Lagos, Nigeria. This program is sponsored by Salad Master.
So please, in case you don't know African breadfruit, that is okwa. You can also Google it and see the health, the nutritional value of okwa, African breadfruit. It's a very wonderful, healthy meal. And the stew, I prepare the stew without oil. No MSG, no artificial condiments. And to also wrap the agdijer off, it's very simple and easy. Just take this leaf like this, fold it this way. Get a smaller one and just hold it this way and then throw this in. Then you fold at the back. So once I finish wrapping this one now, then we are um, done cooking the African breadfruit and agbi jerob is all ready. Everything is all ready. And then I dish, I'll dish the, I'll dish them all out. Okay, now I have to check the breadfruit again because I said two to three minutes. This is almost three minutes. Please subscribe on our YouTube channel. Our YouTube is called Healthy Living Shows. Please like, share, comment, and also press the notification bell to, uh, so that you get notification of our upcoming video once it's uploaded. And also to cook along with the chef is every Wednesday by 6.30 p.m. in the evening, every Wednesday. Wow, the breakfast is almost ready. It's ready now. The African bread food locally called okwa. This is a delicious dish. This is a delicious dish. So I have to turn off the food now because I'm done cooking. All the food is ready. So it's time for me to dish now. So I'll be dishing the African bread food. I also be garnishing it with this grilled croaker fish. Now let's dish our African bread fruits. Like I said, this is a very special dish among the Igbos eaten by the Eastern part of Nigeria, where you're having an event, I haven't served this dish, then that uh, event is not, comp it's not complete yet. Okay, so I'll be garnishing this now with the grilled croaker fish. Now, this is the African bread food that is okwa, garnished with grilled croaker fish. Trust me, it's a very delicious food. Mm. 
Now, this is the Agide Jellop. I have said it. This is already set already. So this is the African breadfruit. This is the agide jellof. You have to leave it to cool, to cool very well so that it will set before unwrapping it. Yeah, you have to leave it to cool very well before unwrapping it. So we are done cooking. Thank you so much for staying up with us. Thank you, Salad Master, for sponsoring this program. Thank you, our viewers, for staying up with us this time. Thank you all so much. Hello, Mr. Marvel. Are you still there? Whoa, 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 whoa. Chef Jessica, my goodness, you make me want to become a chef today. Last week, we had a chef in the kitchen, a special guest, Mr. Tony. You make me want to become a chef. I feel like I'm in there next week, I'm telling you. Oh my goodness, it's been amazing today. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you for participating on today's special show. If you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Zoom, we are so excited. Uh, lots of lots of comments. Uh, someone says, I'm enjoying the show. Chef Jessica, I'm loving the show. Thank you very much. I just wanna say, Chef Jessica, the items you have used today look amazing. Wow, wow, wow. Can you just look at that? That's a 10 quart, and you've got an electric skillet, and you've got an MP5 and a kettle. Someone says, can you take the kettle up so I can see how the kettle looks? Uh, Chef Jessica, can you just pull the kettle up? Wow. That yeah, is, the titanium, is the kettle. That's the titanium whistling kettle. Oh, my goodness. Now, mm -hmm. that actually can turn your acidic water to alkaline. So you can boil your water for your tea or your coffee and you, you're sure that it is pure. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And also, Chef Jessica, you have used the 10 quart. That's around 9.8 yeah. liters. Wow. How many people can that feed, Chef Jessica? Oh, uh, this could feed up to 15 to 20 people. This is the 10. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Yeah. Up to 15 to 20 people. That yeah. is amazing. That is huge. That is big, Chef Jessica. That yeah. is big. And you're sure that everything that comes out from that is pure. It's pure. It's pure. Yeah. Right. Then you have also, you have the electric skillet. You have yeah. the electric skillet. That is the good boy, yeah. right? That's the good boy. We call it in Africa, the good boy. Wow. Now, you also have the, yeah, last week you, you called it a name, yeah, because you made the, the love soup last week. Yeah. And you said the other one is the, is the wife, right? So yeah. that is... Yeah, wow. That's the good girl with all the curves. Now, let me just say to everyone watching today, there is a special promo for all the items that Chef Jessica has used today. Now, all you need to do is, if you, if you recommend five people to see one of our virtual health presentations, which of course you can do by sending in their names. Now, all you do is to send in their names and next week, there's gonna be a special raffle. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Now, in that raffle, if your name is in that raffle, you stand a chance to win any of these amazing items that Chef Jessica has used today. Look at the kettle, the tank court, the electric skillet, and the MP5. Just make a peek. And also, let me just say that next week, next week, we're going to be having a special guest on set. So look forward to having a special guest with Chef Jessica next week. I want to say thank you very much again. And lastly, let me just say that we have what we call the loyalty program. Now, the loyalty program, you can win lots of amazing, amazing special gifts or items that you have seen today. All you need to do is become a booking partner with us on the loyalty program. And definitely, you will be smiling away with so many Salad Master goodies. Thank you very much, mm -hmm. Chef Jessica. I have seen bread. I have seen wheat bread. I have seen brown bread. I have seen white bread. Today, you have shown me breadfruit. Whoa, 
Whoa, oh my goodness. You have shown me breadfruit. Now also, I have seen jollof rice. I have seen fried rice. Today you have shown me agidi jollof. Wow, 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 wow. Next week I'm coming there with my uniform. Thank you very much everyone. From me, it's, it's gonna be a special time next week. Please invite everyone, send them the link and ensure that they join us next week. From me is medium, click low, and I go. Over to you, Chef Jessica. Thank you all so very much. Thank you, Salar Masa, for sponsoring this program. Thank you, our wonderful viewers. From me to you is medium, click low, and we go. Please eat healthy, stay healthy, and smile always. See you. Mm -hmm.